Digital sovereignty, as we see it, includes five lines of action. Using trustworthy IT, building up key technologies, maintaining core command and control capabilities, increasing innovation capabilities and promoting digital competencies in all of our citizens. Let me elaborate on some of these aspects. First, required key technologies must be procured from reliable manufacturers. That's a given. Second, a certified and efficient national and European information and communications technology industry is of strategic significance of our security and defense policy. This industry matters as well with respect to national technology and industrial policy. Third, it is our goal to reduce our dependency on just a small handful of individual manufacturers of ICT products. Relying on monopolies can create serious limitations to our ability to act. One important component of expanding digital sovereignty and of targeted technological development is to increase investments in research and innovation. The German Ministry of Defense has taken extensive steps towards this goal. The Agency for Innovations in Cybersecurity, the Cyber Innovation Hub of the Bundeswehr and the Code Research Institute at the Bundeswehr University Munich are some of the assets we use to speed up innovation and to enhance the agility of defense. Finally, expanding digital competencies is crucial for building cyber resilience and strengthening digital sovereignty nationally but also on a European level. We understand resilience and digital sovereignty not in purely national terms, but rather in the context of NATO and the EU, as these institutions are the bedrock of Germany's security identity. As I am sure you have noticed, not least from the background behind me, Germany currently holds the EU Council Presidency. One of our major goals is to build digital resilience by strengthening the digital competencies and the cyber defense capabilities of the armed forces of all EU member states. We need to maintain and expand the EU's ability to act and jointly meet the opportunities and challenges of digitalization and new technologies. I invite you all to join us in this effort to make Europe stronger and more resilient against threats emanating from cyberspace. Let me now expand a bit on what I mean by that. Today, and even more so in the future, all parts of society depend increasingly on our digital infrastructure, our militaries included. Data and information have long become critical enablers for the military. Modern technologies such as AI are no doubt crucial in coping with the operational tempo of armed forces in the era of digitalization. No modern tank without computers, no combat aircraft without digital avionics, no naval vessel without its own data center. The Bundeswehr, like most Western armed forces, needs to leverage the enormous potential of modern technologies to accomplish its mission in an operational environment of unprecedented complexity. But relying so much on digitalization also comes at a high risk. Today's digital technologies have not been designed with security in mind. Just have a look at the news from the last couple of years. There is not a single week without at least one significant cyber attack on governments, state institutions, private companies, hospitals or other important entities. And we all know that only a small fraction of such attacks becomes public. The networks of the German Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces alone detect thousands of cyber attacks per day.
The quality of these attacks differs widely, from port scans to untargeted ransomware up to highly sophisticated targeted attacks. Different motivations and actors are behind these attacks. Yes, the notorious young experimental hacker, who is also a political activist, still exists. Traditional criminal hacker consortia are a significant part of the game as well. But we see a strong increase of aggressive cyber activity, which is clearly driven by foreign state interests. And despite the difficulties of tracing back and attributing specific attacks to individual governments, we know that Russia, China and North Korea are major players in that field. Consequently, we need to protect our military information networks effectively. When doing this, making a clean distinction between civilian and military information infrastructures is hardly possible. Not least because the military often uses civilian contractors in logistics and communications. Attacks targeted at the Bundeswehr could be conducted by hacking commercial service providers that we use to gain access to our areas of operations. Criminally motivated attacks against shipping companies could impact the logistical supply line of this Bundeswehr. Thus, to protect our military, we also need to take into account the security of our civilian information infrastructure. Let me stress that, of course, the mission of the Bundeswehr is not only to protect itself. It is our mission to defend our nation and our lives against military attacks. In today's world, this mission reaches far beyond the traditional land, air, sea and space domains and requires us to include the cyber domain. To accomplish that, we need to understand the full context of cyber security incidents on a nationwide scale. Could one specific incident be a technical problem or a criminal activity? Or is it part of a concerted political or military attack scheme? At NATO level, cyber attacks are considered an Article 5 contingency. This underlines how seriously we require a fast and comprehensive assessment of the situation. And we all know that despite the inclusion of cyber in Article 5, we continue to face major challenges in this specific field of NATO's collective defense. That is why cybersecurity in Germany is provided in a whole-of-government approach in close cooperation between the relevant ministries and institutions. To me, this whole-of-government perspective, which also includes major private sector service providers, is essential to developing the proper understanding of cyber challenges, which we need to address effectively. This leads me to my third point, how to prepare our military for the cyber threat environment. To meet the challenges of the cyber domain, it is not enough to provide state-of-the-art IT security for our armed forces. We have to understand cyber as a new domain of military operations. A domain in which we need to protect ourselves, but which we also need to harness to further our own interests. For the military, this is just as important as the rise of aircraft and the establishment of air forces as a military branch in the 20th century. The Bundeswehr recognized the importance of digitalization and cyber defense at an early stage. As early in 2016, we established the Directorate General for Cyber IT at the Ministry of Defense. One year later, we set up the Cyber and Information Domain Service as a separate military service branch. This new branch, the CIDS, specializes in providing IT services and conducting reconnaissance in the cyber and information domain.
It is responsible for the protection of our military networks, closely cooperates with other federal authorities and contributes to the whole of government efforts to provide security in cyberspace. However, the protection of our systems is only one side of the story. The CIDS also bundles our capabilities for the whole spectrum of operations in the cyber and information domain. Such cyber operations could support military operations of other services. This includes, for example, the targeting of military communication networks or air defense assets. Such means provide an important complementary element to our military capabilities and enable us to react accurately to challenges in the cyber domain. For Germany, it is therefore clear that military cyber operations must follow the same rules and regulations as other military capabilities. Ladies and gentlemen, Digitalization will have tremendous effects on the development of both our societies and tomorrow's battlefields. Cyberspace as an operational domain is becoming more and more important. As our security environment is highly dynamic and cyber attacks are getting more and more complex and dangerous, to build up resilience is becoming indispensable as a task for all civilian and military security providers. The Bundeswehr stands ready to fulfill its mission to defend Germany and our allies in all domains – land, air, sea, space and cyber. Just as the motto of this conference demands – together against adversarial internet. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam. The tone has been set for the whole day, and it looks like that with the increased expenditure on R&D that you suggest, we can well fight the criminal hacker consortia you've mentioned, which means we're back to business.